Here's Edge at Lambeth, number three, Pitch and Lane. In a row of shabby houses, Watson knocked, knocked again. Only when he mentioned Sherlock as an open sesame, Mr. Sherman bade him enter, asked him what he wished to see. Eyes of badgers, stoats and slow worms in the dim, uncertain light glanced and glimmered through the shadows. Strange to Watson was the sight. It's a dog that Holmes is wanting, Toby tis, Sherman said. Toby lives at number seven, on the left there, just ahead. Toby was an ugly creature, shaggy-haired, brown and white. Half a spaniel, half a lurcher, but a sleuth holy right. When a handkerchief he scented, creosote was it okay? Yelping in a high staccato, Toby soon was on his way. Never hesitant or swerving with his rolling, waddling gait. On through Camberwell and Streatham, though the trail was seldom straight. Till it brought a Rick and Nelson's timber yard, Toby came. To the barrel which appeared to him the finish of the game. Then, of course, they had to start him once again on the trail. To the river's edge it led them, that's the end of the tale. In so far as it concerns our Toby, for he disappears, nor again do we behold him through the intervening years. Mid the badgers, stoats, and slow worms, sleuthing Toby still may be by the water's edge at Lambeth, pinch and lane at number three. Though he was an ugly creature, shaggy-haired, brown and white. When it came to tracking felons, Toby was precisely right. When it came to tracking felons, Toby was precisely right.